Hey guys, what's up? This is Nick back with another video. I thought today we could talk about something that a lot of us that wear and collect fragrances run into quite a bit, and that is underperforming fragrances. It seems like we always have scents in our collection that we love to wear, but that just do not last. They don't project the way that we would like for them to. And that really defeats the purpose of why we wear them to begin with. We like the idea of being able to spray something on in the morning before we leave the house, go about our day, and to be able to enjoy it throughout the day for it to last. And we really don't like the idea of having to keep up with a decant, having to stop what we're doing, reapply at some point. I mean, that's just not very convenient. So in lieu of that, what are some things that we could possibly do to boost or to amplify these fragrances that just don't perform the best. Well, the purpose of this video was not to go into all the tips and tricks that have already been put out there many, many times. I mean, there's a ton of videos that go into, you know, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. I think a lot of them are just common sense things anyway, things that we should already be doing. Like, I think we understand the fact that you should only apply fragrances on clean, well moisturized skin. That is a no brainer. Also that you should still stay well hydrated, drinking lots of water throughout the day. That too only makes sense. Now what I'm talking about here is uh, maybe some out of the box hacks, things that we wouldn't readily think of doing, but that will truly improve the performance, the longevity of our sense. One thing that I've come across here recently, and it's uh, something that I've been doing for about three or four months, is actually adding fragrance to my lotion or moisturizer. Now typically we would be uh, using something like this. I use Lubriderm um, just because I find that for a fragrance-free unscented, it has the least amount of smell to it as possible. I mean, it's just very light because let's face it, it might say fragrance free, but there's always going to be like a slight smell to it. It's just inherent with, with the product. So I like Lubriderm. I get um, several of these, the six ounce size, go to Target, Walmart, they're about three, four dollars. And I take this and take my fragrance, the fragrance in my collection that I'm having problems with performance wise. This case, it's Guerlain Ideal uh, Cologne. Love this scent, but max I might get three to four hours out of it. So take this and just spray it right into the lotion bottle. And the number of sprays is really going to depend on the cologne itself and how strong you want the lotion to be. Now after putting the cap back on it, of course, shake it up really well, leave it for a couple of days to sit, and then try it out. I actually tried this combo this week on Wednesday. I was working outdoors, building a deck, and literally... It lasted the entire day. I was getting wafts of it throughout. I could still smell it uh, that afternoon when I got home. And again, normally I only get like three to four hours out of the cologne itself. So, I mean, that was amazing. I've also tried it with uh, some of the other scents in my collection as well. One that I particularly like, um, even though it's already a good performing um, fragrance, is uh, Prada Carbon. I normally get on average about eight hours from that one. So basically adding the fragrance to the moisturizer, or applying that first and then spraying the fragrance over top of it, it's just taking a good thing and making it that much better. Something that I do too is, you know, just to stay on the safe side, I do take the time to, to label these um, just so that I know which is which. I don't have to really think about it when I'm um, looking to, to grab one. So that is um, just something that I've been doing. I thought I would pass on to you. Um, don't know if you've tried this yourself or not. If you have, uh, please leave a comment down below um, letting me know your experience. I'd really be interested in, uh, in reading that. And um, if this is your first time 
uh, visiting the channel and you are enjoying the content, uh, please take the time to hit the subscribe button. Um, also hit that notifications icon as well so that you will be notified every time that I upload a video. Also, I'm still a relatively small channel. I'm just starting out, um, just a little over two weeks. Um, and I'd really appreciate it if uh, you know of others that would like the content of this channel, please pass it on to them as well. As always, I appreciate your support. I appreciate you subscribing. And until the next time, see ya.